Hey guys, it's springtime! Finally! Uh, my plants, I'll show you pictures right now. In the front yard, I have three of these. And they're all dead. These don't have anything anymore. And then this one had the hearts and flowers. But they're, they're most of them are pretty dead. See? Because it gets too cold here. And I didn't bring them in in the winter time. So I ran to my mom's house and grabbed some more. So she just clips them all for me from hers because she has so many big ones and they grow so long and she has them indoors in like a, like a kind of like a greenhouse in the backyard. So they survive nicely the winter there. So these are all nice and fresh. I'm just gonna stick them in here. And then I went to Lowe's and I got me these super tunia, pink petunias, pink star petunias on sale so I'm gonna put these on the top one and then the hearts and flowers aptinia aptinia I don't know how to say it around here but I'm gonna add a little bit more dirt and I brought it inside because it's windy today I'm in El Paso it's supposed to be zone 8a but it's super windy outside I don't want to be out there but I already want to do this and I can't wait so let's do this I brought a little more dirt from outside because I wanted to fill it a little more. But actually this one, I like to put it on top. Maybe I'm not gonna add that much dirt, just a little bit to even it out. And we're just gonna stick them in there and throw them in the front yard again. This one, let me clean it up. I, don't, I need scissors. Let me clean these with alcohol. Okay, I cleaned my scissors. Let me clean up some of this one because this one still seems alive. It has little spots on it, on the leaves. Let me clean it up. Probably from like the frost, from it getting too cold, but there's new, there's new ones coming out of it, so I'm not gonna take that one out. Just gonna clean it up. And I will show you in a couple weeks how nice it looks once it fill, once the pot fills up. And I'm just using the Kellogg Garden Soil that I got at Home Depot. It's for vegetables and flowers, it says. Kellogg's Organic Garden Soil. Um, these aren't fussy. They don't care where they're at. As far as dirt's concerned, I've stuck them in whatever dirt and they always seem to thrive. And petunias, oh, I'm not sure. I think they need some fertilizer, but I'm gonna plant them and then I'll throw some fertilizer in there. I'll see what I got here. Actually, let's make this hole. Ah! I'm making a mess. This is what happens when it's cold outside and I can't do things outside, but oh well. There's all kinds of roots from this dead plant, but I don't even know what it is or what it was. I don't know what I had planted last year. Okay, I made a hole. I made a hole the size of this little planter. Okay, just squeeze it out. Ooh, look at all those roots. Yummy. Beautiful. Oh, maybe let's make her deeper. Okay, there. Even. Even stevens. There's that. We'll put this here. What we're going to do is take off a couple of the bottom leaves. From the hearts and flowers and these grow really pretty they're like hot pink flowers I'm gonna take out that much and then just put it in the dirt simple as that and it starts growing I'll water it right now when I take it out and we're gonna be good to go 
quick tip I didn't get to show you on this video, but if you don't have a lot of soil, you can fill the bottom layer of the pots with crushed water bottles. Just make sure you leave those caps on the water bottles. Uh, let me bring the other two in and we're finished. Okay, so this pot has this one from last year, but again, I didn't bring them in in the winter. So I think it froze, it died. I don't know, I don't see new life coming, but it's barely spring, so I'm just gonna remove it and clean it up. I don't know what kind of plant it is. So I am just going to chop it up. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's a type of palm, huh? I don't know. Let's put it back in. Try to center it. Hopefully she comes back to life. If not, we'll just redo it next year for spring. So this plant actually had two more plants grow out of it, but we had a freeze and it seems like they didn't make it. I'm hoping they green up again. I'm just gonna leave them be for now. Here on the left is what the petunias look like in the pot. They're pretty snug in there, but they didn't seem to mind because a month later, they're thriving. So I have three sets of these, making it a total of six pots that I'm redoing today. I'm basically redoing the same thing I did in the first half of the video. I'm just showing you my process so that you could see me doing all three sets and I'll show you the end result. I had the ones that she had given me just piled on top of this one. These were already loose. I didn't actually take them out of this plant. She has more at home. But she gave me this one, so I'm gonna hang it in my backyard. This is the other plant, same thing as the other one. It's pretty dead and dry. So I'm just gonna cut up the bad stuff. Here's a ladybug, hi ladybug. Oh, I'm gonna take her out to my garden. Okay, I grabbed her and took her outside. And you know what? This one has new life coming out of it. Wow. So I'm not going to touch it too much. I'm just going to plant the petunias. And two months later, she actually had two more babies. Yay! So a total of three. Somebody tell me how to take them out and tell me what this plant is. And I'm exhausted. Last one, I should have just done this outside, but I started doing it in here, so I'm going to finish it in here. And again, I'm telling you, it's super windy outside, and I don't have one of those cool microphones that people have, so all you'd be hearing would be the wind blowing. And just to let you know, I have a compost, so all the dead plants that I take out and the dirt, I just throw it in the compost so nothing's wasted. and show you the end result outside, okay? Just to let you know, these are in full sun all day. They're on a dripper system that waters 15 minutes every three days. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell button so you could get notifications. Thanks again for watching Garden Dreams and DIY Schemes.